The Tory party remain split on policy and leadership as Liz Truss is making her first political comeback since her resignation. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. We have a number of news updates for you guys uh, today. We're going to come to you guys every half an hour as usual. Uh, first, we're going to start talking about the Tory leadership and Liz Truss making some sort of comeback and intervention, let's just say, as well as we're going to give you the latest updates on the Iranian uprising and Sadiq Khan's net zero obsession with Ulez and of course everything else so let's first today talk about what's going on inside the Tory party because it, there used to be a convention in the Tory family that especially former leaders and former prime ministers don't really intervene too much they either just go and go away and stay quiet or they remain supportive of the new leadership somehow regardless of obviously what we think of uh, Rishi Sunak's leadership and his crazy left-wing policies i kind of feel for him because he's now getting hit by all sides you've got now boris johnson uh, making interventions you've got liz trust making interventions everyone's making interventions now and um, which is quite unusual for the tory party so liz trust has now come out to start to criticize uh, uh, rishi sunak rightly so i guess um but again it's just not really conventional for that party uh, she's basically saying that i was right uh, with, with the with the economic plans that I had and high taxes and everything else is not creating a good political or economic environment for the country. Right, so now one of the allies of Liz Truss has come out to say that uh, she thinks that the OBR, the Office for Bud Budget Responsibilities, uh, can make and break governments. That we've uh, outsourced decision-making and economic policies uh, to an unelected a body and i have to be absolutely honest this is spot on one of the problems that we have in british politics is a systemic issue that everything goes back to the establishment yes we can have good politicians we could have bad politicians but in reality a lot of the decision making or a lot of the the operational aspects of governance in this country is done by the establishment everything from Again, the OBR is not really running things, but in terms of the influence that they have, uh, or for example, Bank of England, uh, everything to the civil service, uh, the NHS um, management, the perfect example, everything goes back to a group of people who are not even elected. We were complaining about the European Union, uh, that, you know, that you know, there, was, there was an unelected body telling us what to do, we voted to leave, but we still have our own version of unelected uh, bodies uh, telling us what to do. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We're going to take a quick break and come back in half an hour. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.